uh, your first time in Ukraine, how was your classes here and how are the students, how are Ukrainian dancers for you and everything, your, how is your inspiration? And so uh, it's not only my first time uh, teaching Gaga in Ukraine, but it's also my first time in Ukraine in general. And I need to say that uh, first class I felt uh, all the group quite hard, or I should say challenging. Uh, like very serious about dancing, like I felt immediately like Ukrainian uh, ballet training and I was like wow, we are in the big troubles, I think we will just talk about pleasure for the next five days, nothing more. Uh, but then something, uh, something changed with people um, and they become more relaxed but not in a passive way but in a very uh, understandable way, they start to be really available to move. Um, yeah, so I felt uh, I felt uh, first day a bit confusing for people with all the information that you are giving, especially if it's like first experience for them. It's like wow, and this, and I need to float, and I need to relax my jaw, and uh, then to do shake, and then maybe connect to pleasure and turn on the Lena, and it's a lot of uh, informations. Mm. But then after a while I felt that they are getting used to, to the informations and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it was very beautiful, like especially like second and the third day, I felt that all of them, they are very hungry for information, but now they can eat. First day I felt they are eating and uh, they don't know how to swallow <laughs> the information and, uh, and then the second, third day I felt that they are eating from me and they, they know how to swallow and don't know how to digest the information. Yeah. Like very good uh, thing about Ukrainian dancers, like these people that I met here, was that they are working hard. Like they are really working. Um, the, the not such a good thing is the judgmental aspect. Like I feel that they can judge themselves very fast. Like, oh, I done something wrong. Oh, wrong, 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 wrong. Uh, like in Israel, people, are much more relaxed, they are just doing, they enjoy uh, dancing. And I feel that uh, here it's a little bit, okay, so now I need to enjoy dancing. So how I can do it, how I can make it. And, and it's there, like all of, all of the people in the group, they, they like to dance. So, uh, so what is the problem, people? <laughs> um, so I think that this was the biggest difference. Oh, not the difference, in Poland it's also a bit maybe similar. Uh, but I feel uh, good thing was that you really want to improvise also like not in only in the Gaga classes but in the improv classes I really felt that that you are taking the information and then you are going for it something uh, that uh, I was not so happy about it was too much skin too much bones and I was saying a lot of times and I want to see flesh something a bit more animalistic uh, about people. I was like, okay, very good students, very good students, but this is not enough. There is much more. Like I felt, uh, uh, we 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 could work more and more and more just on the animalistic instinct. But something that I really liked today when we done the choreography with the voices, it was hilarious, amazing, like so good to to see you moving and making voices. And, uh, and I felt very nice groove in the group. This, this was very clear for me. Good, show off. More muscles, nice. Go. Good. Nice. Really nice, very good. Uh, Gaga is very close and very similar to improvisation. It's like movement research, yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, for people who uh, will see this video, uh, just maybe some uh, strict, uh, I don't know, differences between Gaga and improvisation and uh, why uh, we need to learn Gaga and how it influences uh, on our uh, movement and how it uh, increases our... Uh, <laughs> So Gaga, it's a, it is an improvisation class. Like there is, there is no specific way of doing things. 
but uh, at the same time, like if you will see the teachers, there is a specific way how they are doing shake or how they are quaking or how they are connecting to the soft spine. Like really all of us, we are doing all these things quite similar. So I think like in the, in the structure, like if you go to the improvisation class, you can do whatever you want. And in the Gaga, we all want to tune that we will be in the same place, that we are having the same starting point, that we are all floating together and we know what does it mean to float, like we all understand what is floating sensation or like we need to learn each other, like learn how to, how to float. So I think this difference is that like in the Gaga class, there needs to be particular, like uh, specific things that needs to happen in the Gaga class. You need to work with the speed, you need to work with uh, different textures, um, sometimes with the levels, not always. Gaga like to stand a lot, yeah? But I think the most important thing about, uh, like the, the biggest difference about the Impro General and Gaga is that there is the structure. Hour, 10 minutes or 15 minutes Gaga dancers class, this, this, this needs to happen. Um, there is a lot of freedom inside the class, but then we are always getting together that, okay, now we are all together shaking. And it's very, okay, all of us, we are just shaking pelvis. Or we are mm -hmm. trying our best just to do this one thing all together. And uh, why to do Gaga? Because it's the best thing in the world. <laughs> and it's, it's really, it's the best thing that ever happened to me. Like. It's, it's connecting to the pleasure, it's connecting, like, I don't know if you are in the moment of effort in life, in dancing life, in private life, okay, connect to pleasure, and it's, and it's just coming, like, you, you really need to learn yourself how to, how to use Gaga in the daily life, and then it's a uh, much nicer life ever. <laughs> and it's another technique, so you can use Gaga with all the uh, dance technique that you are doing, so this is even, even better, it's not only that you... Like, if someone is asking me, like, oh, so you're a contemporary dancer, usually I would say I'm just Gaga dancer. Or so I'm a Gaga mover. Uh, I'm not doing anything else now. It was really nice. Like I met really nice people that they took care of me and they showed me all the important churches <laughs> and uh, and statues and all like monuments and good place to eat. Uh, I love the metro in Kiev. This for sure. It's big. I was living in London. It's so small. <laughs> so uh, here I was like, oh, so much space. <laughs> and so I, I enjoy my time in Kiev. Like I. Would.